All right, today I'll be introducing you to Microsoft Visual Studio. The one I'm going to show you right now is Express Edition for Windows 8. So if you want to program for Windows Desktop, you're going to have to use the edition for Windows Desktop. All the Express editions are a free download from Microsoft. So if you want to spend a lot of money on the professional Visual Studio, you could just get these. So the first step you have to do in making a new project is you just click new project here and then it'll automatically open the new project dialog. And there are a lot of app templates that you can select from, like the grid, split. So I'm just gonna show with the blank app template now because it's simpler. And we're just gonna click OK. And then it's gonna automatically generate all the files and everything it needs for the project. So then first, this would be the app thing. You just close it. And then to get to the app page, you double click on the main page and it'll load the designer for you. The designer is where you actually edit all the controls, like for example, buttons and text boxes. So for the user to interact with the app. And then another page, which you have to cl click this thing, it'll show you is the code. This is where all the coding and everything happens and all the event handlers. So let's just start with the designer page. I'm just gonna make a smaller so everything fits. Perfect. So one of the important things is the toolbox. Right here it contains all the controls and everything that you might want to add. Like for example, a, a button, a text box, a rectangle, and images. So if you want to add one of these things, you could double click or you could just drag it out. I like to drag it out so you could place it wherever you want. Like as you can see, the buttons look like this and here's our text boxes as you want there's even check boxes for all and there are all different types of things you could put on here and then also there's a properties it's right here so whenever you select a control for example the grid this is like basically the page of every, where everything is on or you could select a button and then you see all different type of properties that you could edit, like the brush, which is the colors, the appearance, the common, layout. Layout is basically how you want the thing to be located. Like for example, if you move it, you can see that the things change. Or if you resize it, the width and height changes. So, and now to the for event handlers. If you want to add an event handler, you could just go here for different things that you want like happening. For example, you want it if someone clicked it, then you just double click here and it'll automatically generate the code for you. As you can see here. Or if you're already here and you don't want to go back to that page, you could go up here. Oops, we have to name the we'll just name this text box button one I mean. Okay, and now it should appear right here. So if you name it, it will automatically be up here. And if you want to make a, for example, a got focus, then there, it will be generated from here too. So now back here. So if you want to see the coding of that actually generates all the controls for you, you could go right here, but it's not really necessary. So we'll just go back right here and then to run an application, you click the local machine up here, and then you could click the arrow and then select different types. Then the, de the debug and release are the different types. Like the release versions, you c it's more full and more complete. But then for now, debugs works fine. So let's just try it. You could also press F5 if you want to run it, and Shift plus F5 if you want to stop the bugging. As you can see here, these are the controls that we just added. You could, there's a checkbox, there's a text box, there's a button. But since we don't have any coding, nothing's gonna happen right now. So just minus that, go back here, Shift F5. Or you could just press the stop button up there. And if you want to add like splash screens, like for example, these things. You're, you're gonna have to go to the app manifest. It's located in the store menu. You just click edit app manifest. 
and scroll down should be here see all the splash screen badge logo and all the different other types of logos the logo and the Y logo are the pictures and what the stuff that shows on the start menu and the Y logo is the bigger version the small the logo is a smaller version the store and small logo are usually for displaying information and stuff in the stores on the Microsoft website so and you can see how all the scales it, this tells you like because they limit the type of resolutions they could get so I usually prefer you use the higher one so everything is much sharper and they all usually they automatically already have a default default one but it's really small so if you don't want this one you'll have to you'll have to go up here to the solution explorer go to the assets then if you don't want the for example the splash screen you right click it and you click exclude from project and then in the app manifest there are also the orientation the rotations it's like pretend you know how because Windows 8 is also for tablets so whenever they rotate the tablet the app is supposed to move with it but if you don't want your app to going into vertical position you can only select landscape or landscape flipped so and then this is all the display names like what to display in the store the language and you can add a description to here and then the capability is a very important part because if you're uploading it to the Windows Store you're gonna have to say specify your age rating and age rating and is based on here and also like you have to put um, a privacy statement and um, packaging this is where you do all your version numbers and your publisher information and if you want to put your publisher your developer information onto your app you're gonna have to go to the store and then associate app with the store and then you'll have to log in and then they'll go through the process with you but and when when your app is finished and you want to upload it to the Windows Store you're gonna have to go up here and click create app packages and then you'll have to sign in and then it'll also show you how to go through all the process of up creating the app packages and then you could even upload it too so that's basically it and thanks for watching